Guns in America. Sit down. Guns in America. This song is dedicated to all the lives that was lost over the years to gun violence in America. It's time for a change. Mr. President, people love the world. It's time for the truth to be told. But all the rhymes in my mind, the rhythm in my soul, the mic in hand, I'm in control. To your evil minded, I don't mean to be bold, but when I'm on the mic, you're all on hold. To the people in the place, I will be polite. And to your evil minded people, tonight's my night. Guns in America. Innocent lives are taken every day By people with guns who attack their prey Not only in America but around the world A life is worth more than money or gold From the island of Jamaica to TNT To the streets of New York we need unity A gun in the wrong hands makes matters worse I'm tired of seeing innocent lives in a hearse God knows Guns in America Now as we prepare to bury the dead, we should be celebrating life, happy birthdays instead. It starts with the government to make a change. All lives matter, is that so straight between heaven and hell? That's where we stand. For those who disagree, show a wave of your hand. From America, London, and even Japan, we gotta make this place a better land. To serve, to serve and protect Certain agencies carry for respect Not like the FBI, the DEA, the CIA and the NRA Homeland on the other hand Can't control guns across the land So let's keep it simple, simple and plain Keep the guns out the hands of the insane Guns in America Now, children of tomorrow, you're the children of the light I'm gonna take you on a serious flight Throughout the world, throughout the land Children of tomorrow, please try to understand The way things are in the world today I don't want you all to go astray You just listen to your parents and hear what they say Where there's a will, there's a way LGBTQS Chamber of Commerce, Ms. Reverend Carmen Hernandez. Yes. 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 Wait a minute. I got to Thank you. You know, you guys invited me here, and I got my 20. So, like, bring your 2020 glasses, and you guys don't got your glasses. Okay, let's put that on. Let's put mine back on. It ain't nothing. Ms. Diva here. It ain't nothing. Come on. I want this. I want this moment. Okay. Welcome to 2020. Now we get picture, picture. And you know what? We all color. You got perfect match what you're wearing. You give me match what I'm wearing, and you match, girlfriend. Every Kuana. Oh, then I match. Period. You got that white part with the guys that match. Mm -hmm. I, I love my suit. 
So that summer's hair, do you like it? I, I love it. I love that hair. <laughs> By the way, that hair is for you. You for like it? Yep. Yeah, um, Albert Kroger Spenya told me to get it in every color. So let's put this away so we could see what we're yes. doing. We just want to welcome 2020. A lot of blessings for everybody. <laughs> So I, hope, I hope this year is better than last year. Yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. So I want to comment. So let's start. Let's start with you, with your humble beginning, so the audience can know who you are. Well, um, I was bad. I was raised. This was my neighborhood when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, Maria Teresa built a house right here down the block from you guys, mm -hmm. uh, where I used to spend my my childhood years uh, when I was ten, nine yes. years old. When yes. they built that, yes. I did my religious instruction yes. right on 144th Street, right in okay. your block here. So um, this, that was my humble beginning when my faith started, okay. you know, when all this, my relationship with God was, it was in this neighborhood. So with I Jesus? Was raised, I was raised in the South Bronx, yes. I'm a holy down, <laughs> South, South Bronx. Yes. Uh, savior, you know, he's my savior, my Lord and savior, and it is what it is. I know, that's right. Amen. Would you like to say God just a, us. Could, would you, this wasn't planned, but would you like to say just a quick little prayer to bless our show? Absolutely. Okay. Father, we want to thank you. We want to praise you, Almighty God. And all those viewers that are watching their shows on a daily basis, we ask you that you bless them because they are the face of our community. And guide them and, and anoint them and anoint uh, the brother that is recording that this is his show, LDM Network. Father, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, honey. Oh, that was beautiful. Yes. Yeah, I that. So, so you grew up in the neighborhood. You saw the neighborhood this change. This is my childhood. I lived in the South Bronx until I was 15 years old, and I live in Walton, right on 161st oh when we do the rally. Yes, yes. That's why I look at it, and I get overwhelmed because that was my teenage years. Oh. And then when I turned 18, you know, I left when I was um, 16, you know, from 17 going 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lived in Puerto Rico for one mm -hmm, year. Mm -hmm. And then on my 18th birthday, I end up moving right in San where yes. I'm at to this day, and I'm 56. So that's, you came out of the class in Puerto Rico or in New York City? No, I came out of New York City when I was 30 years old. Wow, you wow. Said, oh, she's a late bloomer. I'm but, a late bloomer. And you know what they say about those late bloomers, right? Do you mind if I ask why did <laughs> Don't you ask me, ask them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I ask why did you wait till 30 to come out? Because when you, when you grew up with a single mom, your mm -hmm. mom is your dad, and, you know, she... The mothers in those days, they didn't have many resources. Okay. But yet, what I bugged out is that transgender was love in the 1970s. So I, I don't know now why it's so much chaos and, you know. Exactly. But I remember we had a, a pet. I will never forget Patsy. Patsy lived across from us, and she used to be my mom. The car, my mom was used to that. Mm -hmm. So you, she used to be my mom's the cards. And we remember, I remember Patsy. I loved her because she had that charisma. Like, you guys, that's yeah. why I love you guys because, you know, I remember her. Mm -hmm. So um, so when you, you grow up with a mom that you have to raise. I raised eight brothers and sisters. Yes. I helped my mom raise, you know, and I was seven years old. Oh, wow. I remember I had to be locked out in the house because my mother had to work in the clubs because she managed uh, the club for the owners. Wow. So for she could bring a food on the table and clothes. I can never remember my mom never leaving us without food and dressing us well. She wasn't that type of mother that let you in the street and do whatever mm -hmm. you want, and she didn't. She was a very strict woman, and, and she took advantage of me because I was the oldest. <laughs> so I'm her producer and director because I went through her pain with her. I saw okay. her everything, domestic violence, everything that she went through, I went through it with her. Mm. And she just recently passed away. Right now, January 26th is her first year yes. that I'm oh, without her. So it's very hard for me. So I've been like dealing with the depression, the anxiety. And, and it's, it's crazy because all my life it was her taking care of her. And now it's like, now I gotta take care of me. Right. So when, you know, people, you know, when you got haters out there, mm -hmm. when you do things in life, you do it because it's in your heart, is your calling. Because my mom went through a lot. So I love to help a lot of women to, you know, succeed. I love people when they come to me, but not many people that come to you have good intention and deserve to be helped they want to use you because who you know but they don't know it took me a lot of work to to do where i'm at today it was a lot of work you just gotta move your mic over to your shirt you know you know and that's what i learned i said you know we got to do something more mm -hmm. for our transgender oh. for everyone i'm about humanity mm -hmm. you know it's about all of us and if we don't know how to take care of each other because that's what god loved god told me when i was 30 to come out because if, you, if you're serving a God, you know, it says in Romans 8, 28, when you confess with thy mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you shall be saved. And in that moment, you receive the Holy Ghost. Mm. And the Holy Ghost, was, is the, the, the person of the Holy Ghost is the one that teaches you right and wrong. 
You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, Jesus, I was raised with Jesus. You know, he right. guided me and take care. And let me tell you, when I came out, it bugged a lot of I was people. About to ask, how a you lot of it? religion and so-called my best friend those time, they turned their back from me. They turned their, their back, their back but from even me. though that hurt, I felt that pain of abandonment, I praise the Lord that my mentor who taught me community work, mm -hmm. she stood by me to this day. You know, the one that ordained me as a youth community pastor. Mm -hmm. I'm not a pastor from a church, but, a, you know, my ministry is with children and, and youth. Mm -hmm. Because I was a child, I know what it is mm -hmm. to be suffering as a child and a teenager, and you don't have a voice, mm -hmm. you know. So I've been through a lot of emotion, feeling emotion, and it's what driven me to do and be who I am. Mm -hmm. So what? So after that, what was your next step? When when you said you came out? Um, yeah, I started coming out. It, it, was, it wasn't out, you know, like people said, you come in, oh, you hide, you know, like you're in the closet. Mm -hmm. There's people that don't hide in the closet. They're just having... Mm -hmm. Uh, Reserved. They're having mentally, they, um, how they call it, your, your sexuality confused because you don't know if you, you know, I knew I, since I, know I was. What you're talking about. Yeah, that doesn't work, work for it. It'll it come, it come, it come back to me. Mm -hmm. But when I was 10, I knew. But because my grandmother was a very Catholic woman, mm -hmm. uh, it was her faith that taught me how to, you know, love God. It was through my grandmother. And, and when you have a strict, you don't know my grandmother. I wish she, she was alive. You <laughs> made her. She was one tough cookie. And that's why my I'm a tough cookie because these are the women that are, yeah. you know, these strong. You know what I mean? Yo, people our age were raised by strong, strong women, women Latinas. of that era. Yeah. So then after that, so how, do you, how did you get involved with the LGBT community? Well, why, you know, how old were you at that time? Well, what helped me with the LGBT is I was the executive director, and the last position I had there, I was the senior uh, senior vice president, vice president of the Brown Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, which is still okay. in, in still, you know, uh, you know, still on um, the organization still exists, run by Ebony Kirtland, and God hey, touched Ebony. Yeah, God touched Hi, me. God touched me, and, and I started doing research. Google, if you want to find anything, an organization or something you're going through, Google it. It's all there. That's what, you know, people don't use the tools to better themselves. Mm -hmm. They use it to do bochinche or hurt one another. Do it to, you know, benefit before 45 wants to destroy you because mm -hmm. now they want to control the Internet too. So yeah, take to take advantage that. and use it for the there's tools out there for free. And the one the one to control that um how you call that in the the radio station um it's not it's outside the, the planet. Yeah, the satellite. Yeah, yeah, um satellite. they want to control that yeah. and that was like really? no, no mm -hmm. yeah. So I started no, I, I started I started googling like you know chamber of commerce for LGBT mm -hmm. nothing. So I said you know what I went to a, a two mentor of mine who worked for the governor and one that worked for the World president for red at that time yes. and I sat with them at Joe's place hi my my people in Joe's place and I sat there with them and I gave you know I told them my vision mm -hmm. and they said Carmen you're opening a gold mine do it you are and okay. I was like okay so I called it first it was called NYC LGBT okay. Chamber of Commerce but then I had more straight businesses joining my chamber like I got one of my members I want to thank Jose Gonzalez mm -hmm. uh, for for bringing me here so I'm going to have to worry with Accessorite because <laughs> Accessorite, you got to give them the time you finish, and then you don't know what time exactly. how these shows, and you want to network. Right. You know, you want to stay a while network. So anyway, uh, I started doing it, and then when my straight chambers, you know, members, they were like, wait a minute, you guys talk about diversity and all this. Where we, where's the exactly. S? So they pay the money for me to change mm -hmm. it. One of my members that she does, she does legal papers, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and she gives you a great discount. So she did it for me. She hooked me up big time. So uh, we changed the name, and now we had the QS for questions because they keep changing it. Well, queer. Queer. Sorry, right? they have the whole and alphabet. now they got an I. I don't know what the I is about. We agreed. We have the whole yeah, alphabet. Yeah. Just That's say why that. That's why when I produced my events and, and I promoted out there, <laughs> I started using LGBTQIS because um, I have friends from Denver, Colorado that came here, and one of them said, Apollonia, I'm intersex. What's that intersex? Intersex is when they're born male, and no matter of fact, I, I want to see if he, if he comes here. He should bring it to him. educate us. Yes, because, because I was like, I was in the it, queer it, section, it, like questions. If they, if they do I blood mean, work, it'll come out like that, some some genes. Oh, I heard yeah that some that will, the women that has men. Yes, a man that has the the genes. Yeah, they got the the. Okay, yeah, definitely bring it. That would so be. So tell us um 
So how, how did you? St so how did? And you then that's how it started, and oh, here I am. Why you in did fact, you start the chamber? LinkedIn just hit me up. My people that are on LinkedIn, and it tells you your anniversary. I just celebrate 15 years wow. doing this chamber. Oh, that's yeah. awesome! Congratulations! 15 years, yeah. Okay. yeah. And, 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 and let me tell you, I really am champion helping small business, the yes. small guys. I don't get money. The membership helps for me to get around. Um, like this year, I didn't charge my members because of, I just lost my mom yes. last year. So I was going through, you know, we go through a lot of right. the number one person in your life, and you're going through all these changes. You know, like, you, you need to mourn. You need that time. Like, yes. you know, what's the next step? You know, because what we do is because we love yes. it. Yes. You know, and because... We need, if we don't stick together and really build, like build, I tell everyone that I come to build relationship. Mm -hmm. Anyone could come and lie to you. We oh, got LGBT, that, we, got, about, we got LGBT. Let's talk about the chamber. Me personally, I don't give two fucks. <laughs> I don't give two fucks. Excuse me, Reverend. Um, I don't worry about the next, what the next person is doing. I do my events, I do my fundraising. I don't care who does what, I worry about me. So that's my advice that I give to people. You don't have to worry about anybody. Oh, you no, no, what, but people need to know that even though you go to negativity, God will always give you to shine. No, no, that, yeah. Sometimes yeah, things that. happen. I stay shocked and I put things to people can see, even if you see haters mm -hmm. seeing you and watching you to see if you fall, God will provide you. And, and people bug out, like, how God is helping you? Like when I came out, you know? These religions that thought, you know, they thought they're mighty. And, yeah, when they were going through that thing, I, be, you know, I, I, di I didn't judge them. Mm -hmm. I love them. But sometimes people ain't going to react the same to you. Yeah. It's crazy. Because you, it's, you get it's right? That, you see what I'm saying? I, I get what you're saying. But isn't it said, you know, thou shalt not judge. But everybody is judging. It's judging. She and knows. It's not right. You remember you went, you went. I'm sorry that I'm going to share this story. No, no. Oh, okay. no I, it ain't I don't know what story. You know, I, I told you. I got a lot of stories. I got a lot of stories. Oh, I'm going to grind up. But one, one time, I remember when you put a post that you was going to retire. And I yes, was like, I, what? I, I did. I did say. Before, and, and, before, um, um, you and Charles came to me about the show. You're too yeah. young. I was going to retire. She was going to retire. And I was like, because no way. I feel um, the drag community of New York City is shady as hell and it's not fair. i agree with you i see it with my eyes. they don't they don't want to pay what you're worth exactly. they don't want to share the stage and besides that it's just the um they're too focused on the rue girls but they don't know that the rue girls they was where i'm at right now exactly before they got to where they at they had to go through the same thing that i'm at but the rue girls they get in their head very much oh, i'm a rue girl now so you got to pay my money and they don't want to sit there and share the stage but you and see the majority of them sorry the majority of them that we hired at Bronx Pride, when it was under another organization, I mean, the performance was like, blah. You know what mm -hmm, I'm saying? And mm -hmm. you get and you get a girl, you know, just a, just a girl from the neighborhood to perform, and she kills it. Mm -hmm. You see, but that's why we need to have a table of conversation, not because it's negative, because we need to discuss it. If we want to get to the next level, we need to unite. That's why I built mm -hmm. this chamber of commerce. Yes. And I've been through a lot because I thought, oh, we're going to have. No, you don't. Even our own LGBT backstab you of course they do. because you're doing this to help them and partner to us to build you know we could sit down like you know i tell you guys let's sit down let's coordinate yeah this is what i could give you i agree you know and and you know and but some people like they see you have all these connections they want to jump and you know that's not that's mm -hmm. foul learn from it that's why i brought you in to build it so you could build your relationship because only in that circle i will allow you to network because that's yes. what i bring bring it mm -hmm. so we can help each other and build Let's but unfortunately, see. the Bronx is the last, the only borough that LGBT do not unite. You got these outsiders living oh, from yeah. Queens and tell us what to do in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. Listen, we have, we have people in organizations in the Bronx that like to use the word loosely, unite, and they're not united. We're not united. They're not helping you with sponsorships, so so throwing, so. throwing a couple of hundreds to help you out, nothing. And then the real icons that you guys are. Mm -hmm. And I don't call myself icon LGBT. I call myself icon in humanity. You know, you guys are the icon, the you know, the face of us. You understand? Because you've been there. I never been where you at. You work hard to be where you at. You get what I'm saying? I so mean. I I, I want to help those that you know. I have the bridge. I'm open it. Run. But not many people run. They just want to use you, and then exactly. and then we're back exactly. in square one. They want to go exactly. along for the ride. Then we all in the square one. When we all should, you know, get there. Okay, so guys, for those of you that are listening, ask questions. Unfortunately, I can't see anything on the screen. 
I know that. Oh, they're not asking because ask no, no, I just want to know is no technical ask difficulties. We yeah, just wait for y'all to chime on in. Don't be shy. Away. Just just ask away. Yeah. Ask yeah. us. Ask away. Okay. How was your New Year's? All yeah, right? right. How do you feel about the topic that we're talking about? Do What's you your feel, resolution? Right. Go, go, just, What's your resolution? Come on now. I don't believe the resolutions anymore. No more. No. <laughs> Resolutions are yesterday's news. Oh, okay. Like, I like. Listen, um, for me not to look like a quitter, I made one at 11:59. I said next year, I'll start again. Well, then next year, 12 o'clock, I started again. I quit. <laughs> I quit cookies for like one for one whole year. 11:59, I said I'm not gonna eat no more cookies until next year. I can't. Do that. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> I said I was gonna do the 28 day ch um, challenge. I didn't do it yet. I did the 28 minutes. <laughs> so, and, Go ahead, go ahead. And the thing is, don't lose hope. Right. Even though I, I, you know, when we have a vision and we have a dream, no matter what, stick with it. Mm -hmm. Because sooner or later, you might not see it now. It might take a year, two years, three years, ten years. But you know what? God is, is shaping you. Because when he gives you everything you need to take it more beyond to the next level, you stay humble. Yes. That's why I love when I met Gloria Estefan, how humble. And this, humble. Is, and this woman, I mean, she got it all. Mm -hmm. And she's an icon. But to stay humble because she knew what she went through as a child mm -hmm. from an immigrant from Cuba. She knew what her mother went through and yes. her dad, and yes. she honored them. Because that's what we have to do is honor. Even though, let me tell you, my mother used to fight with me, and she's a Christian woman. <laughs> And I used to tell mom, I love you, you know. She used to curse you out? Yeah, oh, you're fat, you're this. But you know what? I said, yes, of course I am, mom. But I love you. She used to get more mad because I, you know why? Because I, uh, she knew her heart. I honor her. And her mom. I honor her. You see her next to her mom. There's a picture that you went in a jacuzzi. Or oh, like that. that was the first you, you time. Don't know, you don't know who's yeah. the mother or the daughter. Yes. I love those type of pictures. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to say, yes, you be like, well, what, what I'm going to show you, yeah. Those jeans are amazing. Yeah, right? like who's the mother, who's the daughter? Because I love it. They look like sisters. Yes, my mother looks great. I yeah. think we have great, comp, you know, uh, with I their skin. I look like my mother. Yes. Mm -hmm. With so, makeup you know, and that's, Obama, yeah. and, and, <laughs> you know, and, and that's why the chamber's here. The chamber's to help you. Reach out to me, mm -hmm. you know, and let me guide you because everyone's different. Yes. You have a different kind of business. You have a different kind of business. Yes. We'll sit down. I sit down with you, and I, I show you what I know what I can take mm -hmm. you. And I've done it. You yeah, know, I, like I, pray, I praise God that I practice Surely what I away, preach. But you, you need to do your work. Do your course. work. It's, gonna, it's not going to get handed to you on the civil flag. Of course. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna right. to mention something. Mm -hmm. um, last year, um, for my thank you party, I invited I always Ms. miss it. I invited Miss Kelly Kaboom. She was not going to show up. And I said, Miss Kelly Kaboom, you need to be here. She be putting me on the spot. You see, she's putting me on the spot today. You want to tell the story? You want to tell the story? Or you remember I forget, it? I, I remember the story, but I forgot why I couldn't make it. And I was like, I couldn't make it for some whatever reason. Did I mention it was, what it was, it was for? Fair. Did I mention what it was for? I don't remember. Oh, uh, why I needed to be there? Yes. No, you didn't okay. tell me. You, so, you was like, oh, okay, but you need to be here. Exactly. And I was just like, all right, you know, because I always come out for Apollonia. Yes, I'm not going to let her down. I'm going to come out. I'm going to sit there and pull through, and I'm going to come out. I forgot what it was. I thought you, it was car you, fair, or I probably was No, it was not car fair. It was something that you had to do, and I was like, I really I really need you to be here. Right. And tell them I what, it I was, what it was, why I wanted like, you there. I got there after doing this, you know, doing my um, the performance wise she calls me back on the stage I'm tired like I kid you not I'm just I'm trying to catch my breath she calls me back <laughs> on the stage she's like Kelly I got something to tell you I was just like what you guys tell me I'm trying to catch my you know I'm trying to get, catch a bottle of water right. trying to catch some air what you guys tell me girl you can't wait till we get you can't wait till later and she winds up telling me that um because of all the amount of work and how I'm always there for her that she made me her one of her co-hosts for her next upcoming event. Oh. Bronx and I was Festival, so honored. And I like, you, now I'm one and, of her co-hosts. Yeah, but that's wonderful. July. That's what I love so. about her. Because she always, and I say in front of her, behind her back. Yeah, I talk behind her back. I tell her, I'm talking behind your back. But I, I, I admire how you, the people that she interact with you guys, you guys are there for her because she's there for you guys. And I treat you my know, people like, good. If I'm going to get success, you coming with me. Like, she knows the people that's been there. And mm -hmm. you guys, I thought you guys are marvelous kind of human beings. Let me beings. tell you, Roman oh, Because not girl. everybody works, you know. Carmen. Right. You if, guys step to your place. If I wouldn't treat the people, the entertainers, the volunteers, the sponsors, and the people that attend my events, I wouldn't be successful with this. Exactly. I had to like hang up my wig years ago. Honey, and but every year people tell me Apple every year's getting she better. She don't know what God has for her because she's all successful, but she's gonna blow up. 
And I'm going to sit there looking in the corner and I say, I hope it's not for eight million. I, said, girls, I hope it's not for eighty million dollars, girl. I said, girls, you believe it? Listen, it you don't care. She doesn't you get it. You want to talk about it's that? Listen, she said she you didn't want to talk get, about the eighty million she dollars. She didn't get the joke. Oh, you said I'm going to blow up, and I said, I hope it's not for eighty million dollars. You don't know what that means? No, honey, I ran. Oh, put oh, a bounty on yeah. forty-five's head. Um, eighty million dollars for his head. I just love how you said forty-five. That's what I was like. What? 40, 40, 45. Also, yeah, I want to. I want to mention. You're not acknowledging what I'm saying. Yeah, it, it, I said that Iran uh -huh. put a bounty for 45, the president 45, right. for 80 million dollars. So when you said I was gonna blow up, I said, "Well, I hope it's not for 80 million." <laughs> <laughs> Would y'all do it for 80 yeah. million dollars? Yeah, people don't get my jokes. I don't. I'm Best not a same. joke. I, I'm the last. Like uh -huh. I don't say joke because I'm gonna say. I know Pookie down the road that would do it for a hundred dollars. Come on, I'll mess the joke we up. We all unite as one and just tell us where you're at. And but what's it I'm, I'm the person dollars. you say a joke and I repeat, I'll mess it up. That's me. <laughs> but producer, was it 80 million dollars or 80 million it was, Mexican pesos? No, it was no, 80 million. 80 million was American million. dollars for the president's head. Oh, wow. Not his body. His the, head. So what? Kathy Griffin, I got the figure. Got the figure when you did that head thing. I was just thinking the same thing. Pobre Kathy. Kathy, we love you. But also, I want to shout out. I want to uh, shout out to Australia. What's going on oh with the, all those beautiful animals? Uh, Puerto and, Rico. And I hope. And then we got and the I hope, fire too. And Puerto Rico. Yeah, and I um, hope and pray hurricane. that they give that guy life. Because if you guys don't know, it was not an accident. With a fire in Australia? Yep. Really? They oh. found 25 people burnt Australia. But can you refresh my memory on that? Because I wasn't oh, following that is so you. Yeah, this is 25 the, people. It's a fire, right? Yeah, oh. it was arson. It was arson. Seriously? Yo, it's it was like, arson. You gotta really have an evil mind. I, I, I see what's uh, going on in our ko society. Koala bears are instinct. Yes. What? And the kangaroos. They got only like, they found 13 of them so far. And they're trying to see if there's an other. And they and they say that are so the news. They say ninety thousand ninety thousand animals. And they had they had to utilize um, wow. koalas and kangaroos that were not burned, but they um they should yeah get they out. have them in the they, they breathe so much um smoke that it, they yeah. completely yeah. Yeah. yeah they only have so yeah, far the last time I checked was twelve koala bears left. Oh wow. Wow. that's crazy. All it's prayers to Australia, man. So hopefully and they I want to go there. That's like one of my that. bucket lists to go to Australia. And I have friends. I have friends from over there. I've yeah. been trying to reach out to them. Oh, I'm on the so side, and they like haven't that. been on. Just, mm. Thank God, the friends in Puerto Rico, my friends, they're okay. I shout you guys out. Yes, Keep us posted. Um, my one of my lawyers in Puerto Rico, uh, that lives in San Juan. She showed me pictures. I'm gonna share yes, later. Yes. And it really, I was holding my chest mm -hmm. because you know what is cement crushed by yeah, the yeah. and the floor was way open. Yep, yep. Oh man, like my they want to swallow boy. people up. It's scary. It's, it's a scary Ponce, time. It's a Puerto scary Rico, time. They felt, they felt it. They felt it. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't think it was because it didn't happen in Ponce. It happened on, on, on another town. 6.5. But, Six but they felt yeah. it in Ponce. But it hit. Yeah, Ponce, it, it, it's like Ponce saying, got hit. It's like, it, oh, Ponce got hit too. No, they, Ponce yeah, they, got hit. They, oh. they felt it, but it's Ponce still. Got hit, but the, my lawyer told yeah. me over there in Puerto Rico, Alicia. Oh, the, um, whole, the whole island. Yeah, the whole, the whole island show. And the north, where my mom used to live in Arecibo. Yeah, but I think the north is the one that got hit the most. Real the most. Right the, uh, where my mom used to live. My mom lived, used to live in the north. We lost, we lost three historic places that have been oh, since 1800s. I had, I had no idea. Wow. I that's lost I the church. The, the that's church, where my mom used to live. Wow. The, the, the biggest the church. We lost. We lost the uh, the diving board rock that uh, tourists. And uh, one of the... Um, Places that the army used to come and, and and heal people and stuff like that, like a hospital, but now it's a historic place that's gone. Oh no! Oh my God! Yeah. So I, I didn't know my that. heart out to you, all, all the family friends that they hit me up. I just found out they lost a, a good a member of mine, James uh, Rivera. My condolence for your mom. And we're gonna go Thursday. Our members are gonna go and and give him our condolence. It's hard. I you know it's I'm still fresh with mine. So it's, 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 I, you know, you understand what other goes through when you go through it. That's why I never could tell somebody, oh, I understand. No, unless you know you went through it, then you identify that pain. That's right. And losing someone special like that, I it must be a pain that yes. is unbearable. Horrible. I'm over here fighting with the screen. I'm giving it evil eyes. 
Because I don't see nobody um, writing anything. I don't know what's going on. Do you see? I mean, I asked a question. Would you they, do they, they listening. Should they, I go they, on they my listening. phone? They more, they more focused listening. But you know what? That's good, though. That's good, though. Keep maybe listening. I, could see it on my phone. I still want to hear from they you. Wanna, they want to check what the reverend's talking about. The rest. Yes, <laughs> we still want to hear what you got to say. Oh, she's going to attack the politician. I don't attack nobody. I just say what it is. LGBT and the Bronx are giving too much free ride to our political people because yeah, especially in the Bronx us. they're not represent right now I just got a, a petition I get a you know petition what's going on I'm mm -hmm. out there and I sign and right now we got New York State politician mm -hmm. wanna get rid of Medicaid. Yes. New York, these are Democrat. I'm a Democrat. And I gotta shout out what I have to shout out. That's crazy. We need to take care of people with disability. People with, with seniors, because we got LGBT senior. I'm a disabled person, and, and, and I didn't ask to get sick. But my God, you know, I live in NYCHA development. I'm a tenant president there, mm -hmm. um, raising people's voice, making sure that their apartment, thank God this year we're not suffering heat. We got heat. Oh, my God. You know, yes. I'm, I'm the they, they picked up a lot from, from and you had the, um, what before. The, the community room um, renovated. Yeah, we the got design. renovated. Honey, these um, are going to catch fire, honey. We like said they're almost. They, they fixed it. Why? Because I brought the president of NYCHA, mm -hmm. a new guy that came on board for NYCHA. And he came and visited our development. That's so right. that's what that's how you do. You okay. you build to to yes. build your community. I have someone named Freedom that said the Bronx needs to step it up for the LGBT communities by Freedom. I don't know what's that Maui, and I already can't see. Albert oh. Croker says, "Love you guys. Love um, you back. We love you, Albert Croker." Love you. Let me see who else. I, that's all they um they've been writing. Who yeah, but this is thing. It's not the politician. It's us. The community. The LGBT need to come out and support candidates. Because I ran, and I was out. There was no LGBT helping me. And I was fighting with Reverend Diaz in my district. Why? Oh. Reverend oh. Diaz. Because he had all these so-called religions that they don't even live in our block. They come from another, another block, and he brings them to help out all people that don't have education. Because I, I had a woman across from me doing, me a, doing a laptop. You know, lap dance, a disrespect, because that's not how I flow. No, only I could do it. And, and, and I, exactly. <laughs> but I was, I was preaching. I was preaching to them, like, you don't have no self-worth. You know what I'm saying? It's like, this is the kind of people, you know, that, that the people don't know what these people are doing. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's not the political. It's us. Yeah. We need to renew our mind. We need to renew who we are and really give these politicians accountability that, you know, and the community don't get involved. It, it, that's the issue we are having. We need the to and team up. And team up. Complaining and complaining. each other. Exactly. Put to the side like I do, and I do what I need to do. Listen, I have Albert <laughs> Broca Spina said, thank you, Baron, for all you do. You really care about the Bronx and the political, political stance for the people that you believe. It's true. Yeah, I live what, what I why preach. Do you think, why do you think um, I'm involved with you? Because that's, I, I, you have that passion, Reverend mm -hmm. Carmen, that I have. You've been doing it longer than me, okay? Mm -hmm. 30 I've been, years. I've been All producing, my life. I've been producing club shows for a while, but producing fast. I produce two festivals every summer plus a boat ride, sometimes two boat, you know, boat rides. I do it on but, my own, but... Yeah, but remember, but, I was the co-founder of the Bronx Festival that yes, we're doing. she was one of and the original members. I had, of a, the, I had a fall out with someone, yeah, yeah, I yeah. stepped back, okay. and then Apollonia... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let's make it, let's no, make no, it no, out that no, people she, know who she, you are. Yeah, 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 wait, wait. She was um, no, one of the original founders. Founders. Not political. Vote she for was, me. Vote she was one of the original founders with Peter C. Um, Peter Peter Frank. Frank and a couple of other people. When everybody's, everybody's left, I said, I'm not leaving. They, I fought they, for this. They sold out to the politician. I fought for this. I said, like, hell no. They sold out to politicians. Even, listen, even when we created the, the original Bronx LGBTQ Center, but it was by name only. And I got the the name didn't I go anywhere, so yeah. you know, I gave it up. I could have fought for it because I was the, one of the vice pre I was the official, the original vice president. Yeah, but you know what? You do things right. She came to me. And she I said, come and I want to. I said, take it. Go for it. I got your back. And I have since day one. And you know, Apollonia, since day one, mm -hmm. I try to do the best I can to get her the support that she needs. And I feel good because, and even though I can have a VIP, she knows I never act, I never went in there, I like, oh, no, I sit with my walker, the enjoy the show, way. and that's it. Because that's your job, too. I feel good that I say I put a plan C, I help. 
Listen. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My heart and God knows that I was there for her. Yep, I you feel get that. what I'm saying? If, That's what counts. If I was, if That's I were to be matters. full of shit, I wouldn't get no. the support from the community, from from sponsors that are just regular people from our community, even entertainers that perform every year <laughs> donate, so I could pay the DJ, so I could pay yeah, the of course, it costs so money. The U-Haul, so I could get full. And we got to pay our divas too, our transgender. You know, they want to get their money. Exactly. They come in the train, costs money. Life is hard. You know, you want to, you, you're about to tell me, preacher girl. Right? Hey, you're, <laughs> you're right. You go ahead. You know, that's going. when I do events. I took and, the train. And that's I took what, the bus today. No, no. Yes, go yeah. ahead. But, that, but that's what I do in my events. You know, you tell me you want to try. Okay, what is it you look that I could find a sponsor for you? Mm -hmm. You know, because it's a give and take. I know you take the train. So you know what I do? If I do an event, I'll get a limousine. We'll, we'll, you'll meet way up alone. near there, and you'll come in the limousine. Mm -hmm. You know, and I make sure I take you coming you know, come mm -hmm. and going, because that's how we do it, and then get you a little money for entertainment. Thank but you. also, I'm going to make sure that you get all the media attention mm -hmm. international, national way. I know that's right. You understand? Because when God right. helps you to do something, mm -hmm. he helps you to do it great, because you are unique. People try to copy you, Ooh. but they're fake, but you're the real deal. Ooh, you're doing it for me. Come on. That's, that's right, girl. You're the real yeah. deal. Yeah. Remember, that. Remember, remember that. You remember that. I always will remember that. I have a, a freedom. Maui Waui says she's from the Bronx and the LGBT community here sucks. Well, it sucks to you because you're dealing with the wrong people. Now, look me up. A lot of them suck. Up. I'm with you. A lot yeah, of them a lot suck. Of them suck. A lot of them but suck. Let's play, you know, no, let's, no, put, no. let's put this on the table. There's a very everybody. There's a very handful. That's what I'm saying. There's only a handful. A real like Charles Rice Gonzalez, no, no, Ata Avila. These I'm are saying. icon of well, the Bronx. That's what I'm because she said the LGBT community out there sucks. So that means that it that sounds like it's the whole community. Oh yeah, no, not the whole. Well, that's why there's a portion. Yeah, well, right. No, you're right. No, you're right. I'm fighting you too. Go, woo. <laughs> woo. LGBT, we you matter. I'm saying it's not the the whole LGBT community in the Bronx that no, sucks. No, there's. It's, Half of them. <laughs> people, yeah, we see. There's people that don't know now about about the organization bad, that they do great stuff, mm -hmm. and you and you believe Reverend Diaz give to the to bad. On the you senior. Know? Yeah, Love because her. he's a councilman in the area. So the senior for gay finally. I don't know, but he gets to the organization because they, they got a children program. Oh, I didn't but know. But remember, it's all politics. I, I didn't know that he I'm gave the yeah, there. And what's it's your thought, Mister? <laughs> I just feel as. A, it's not just the Bronx. It's not just Queens. I feel as a, the community in general, we just have to basically stick together and unite. Um, the problem is that we're, we're letting, we're not letting our community get the money. We're, and, and I'm not trying to, you know, make it segregated like all oh, the straight community. Da, da, da. But it's very much, you know, we have. If you go to a club, it's not the gay community that's getting that money. It's, it's a, a different, straight, it's an mm -hmm. outside source. Mm -hmm. It's a straight community. It's this community that's getting the money. We're not supporting ourselves because it's very much we're too greedy. Mm -hmm. We are too greedy it's for true. our own liking. I give it to that you. we can't mm -hmm. sit there and support each other and be like, well, you know what, girl, you got talent, so I'm gonna sit there and let you come on this stage. Or it's yeah, very much, you know, yeah. bro, I'm sitting here trying to open up this, open this club so that way we can have another safe space in the Bronx because we don't really have that we many have safe no, spaces in the, in the Bronx, Bronx. There's no safe. There's no. There's only one. Where? Evos. I know the owners there. I love them. They know me when I was straight, that we go way back. Mm -hmm. and, and and they really care about the community. Mm -hmm. I think they're the only club, I have to say it, really the handful, one club that respect LGBT. Because one. a lot of these straight folks, they're making money out of us, but they don't give us the respect yeah, that we need. And the we have, and, we have and then we have LGBT screwing because if you're doing you're a promoter and you're trying to bring a safe haven, mm -hmm. they go there and speak to them and say, Oh, I could do it better than than Reverend or the Warrior, because they know me as Warrior in the nightclub scene. And oh, I could do it better and then it destroy because mm -hmm, these mm -hmm. these owners they're only thinking money, 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 and they're not thinking about relationship right. that we could be, you know, known like crash, you know, in Queens. They were known because they kept it going. They kept yes. uniting, promoting, and looking for each other. Cynthia, Cynthia Russo, I love you, baby girl. They had the you best know. shows in New York City besides Escolita. Oh, Cynthia. I was just about to name that, Escolita. Escolita. That was one of the, the um, top spots. Heaven. Escolita was the queen of the world. Remember Heaven? Mm -hmm. 
Heaven? I yes, we heaven. still worked in Heavens too. Oh. I didn't go and a matter of fact, we ran into the, my birthday there. To the <laughs> owner of Heaven, and we went to the botanical garden. They were one of the first that came on board, Joe. Yeah, but, but he was there at the botanical gardens. The, and the, they stayed the, on board. The too. World Pride in the summertime, one, the former um, owner was there. Oh, really? I missed Nicholas. Him. Yeah. Oh, my God. Listen, um, you want to read a, a message that Albert... Yeah, you, I'm you blind. I'm blind like a bat. I'm blind like a bat. Um, Kelly, you um, need to scroll. Yeah, I can read it. Oh, hold on, hold on. The one above that. Break that down. Yes, break it down. Wait, wait, wait. You're too fast. <laughs> up, up, up. There up, we go. Up, up, up. Oh, up, yeah. up, up. Thank you. The one up. from free. No, it was a big thing that Albert Croak is wrong. Um, right there. Read that, Kelly. Ooh, wait oh, wait a minute. Oh, you can see it? I can see it. <laughs> okay, read it, girl. Let me, let me, read I'm blind. Let's see let me get my 2020 I'm vision diabetic. going, okay? Okay, okay. It diabetic. says, from Albert Crocus, he says, we need to unite between the Bronx dis Destination Tomorrow, I think that's Destination yes, yes. Tomorrow, 3rd Ave District, et cetera. He said he will volunteer, but only when we and me can, well, can, make, a difference. can make a difference. We had the Bronx Expo. Let's collaborate that. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> and not only that, isn't this Albert the one that's going through a lot by being discrim um, discriminated, that's hate Albert crime Crocus. by your developer? I no. want to. I want to make that shout out. I, I just no. That's Albert Crocus thing. I don't think he. No, he that's not it. Is there's, there's another. No, uh, you're talking about Hector. Hate? You're talking about Hector Crocus. I mean Hector Carter. I was see, there's, yes, a, there's a two gay couple yes, that are going through in the Bronx. And Fabio. And and I'm challenging everybody. I'm gonna put it on my page. I'm gonna sit down with them, and and we gotta be a voice. Yeah. And they're going through a hate crime to a d development. No, we, and we got a challenge. Mm -hmm. I want to say this before we go. We got to challenge these politicians that get money through development, these developers. And they could be these developers are Latinos. They are African-American because one of my chamber members who owned the restaurant right here in the South Bronx was bullied by a, la a Puerto Rican landlord. Oh, no. So, honey, just because we're Latino black, a lot of black and Latino want to be white. I don't know where that came from, <laughs> but they don't think the way we think. Yes. They don't, just because, you know, I told people, I voted for Obama, but I told them, hey, he's more white mentality than a black mentality. What? So, you know, you have to, like, be very, you know. Thanks, Michelle Obama, next to you, honey. Yeah, oh, Michelle, I love it. I got your book. You're going to autograph it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. If they told me that, I would have brought my Michelle Bible. Don't go anywhere. We're going we're gonna, to um, touch that thought about Hector and Fabio Costa. Yes, right we now. need to bring. It's over. It's over. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Another one. Oh, it's another over. one. We got a lot of ah. stuff to talk another about. One. We was having so much fun. Wait, 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 what about you that? You see how time flew? Difficulty? Didn't that count? It flew. Wait, what happened? Didn't that count it's for extra minutes? It's already. Oh my God! The show is over. Oh. oh my God! Well, we're in I gotta re, I gotta re everything. So I wanted to talk about Hector and Fabio. They left that old rent to they bought their own apartment and they 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 won the lawsuit against their homophobic landlord. I know that's, that's the, right. Amen. Don't worry, there will right, be a That's part good. Two. But before we go, real quick, can you tell us about your toy drive, real quick, yes. before we leave? Yes, yes, uh, me too. This this is my last week till Friday. Even Saturday, you could bring it. Uh, we Mention would, the dates, please. Yeah, we're doing our January 11th. It's not for everybody. It's for my tenants. Yeah, oh, for your tenants. Uh, for yeah, tenants. We, we only raise it's enough. Not for the you know, We're still raising toys, whatever you want to bring, from newborn, even clothes, can of food. Uh, we have people that are real poor. Mm -hmm. um, we have senior, senior citizen more in my building that needs um, help and give okay. them maybe a blanket or something. We could knock at the door and give it so to them. So this toll drive is to help your building. It's to help my building. Okay. I'm a tenant president. Uh, one of NYCHA development on Watson, and uh, we're doing a Three Kings party for them. Okay. I do it at uh, Three Kings better because we have the Christmas and the Three Kings together. Oh, I love you it. You know, and because I'm Puerto Rican, that's how we celebrate it. That's our culture, that's who, I, who I am. That's how we roll. We're going to have a parranda. You guys welcome to come and bring your instrument. And it's a great party. It really is. And you meet all the tenants, the people of the community. And, oh. and we need to break that barrier because I was in hate crime and, and defamation. Okay. Because okay. I got, who's this lesbian? Why she put it, you know. But we have to break barriers. Okay, we do. So we come in, we say do. your final thought, and then Kelly will say her final thought, and I will say Reach out, thought. whatever help you want. If you want to start your business, this is what I do to help email, LGBT. Email. Or email, uh, which is NYC, LGBTQS, Chamber C, as Carmen, Chamber C, at live.com. That's our chamber email, but you could Google my name, Reverend Carmen Hernandez, okay. and my email is there, and you could reach out to me and and want to work in community work. 
just reach out and I'm here to okay, guide you and help you. Thank you so much. No, mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> Kelly Kaboom, your final thought. Mwah, mwah. Mwah. As we all I'm know, gonna kiss you know, lip. <laughs> as we all know, you know, we want to make a difference. We got to start somewhere. So let's start now and support this drive as a community. Let's start here. And, you know, Support love is love. Yeah, yeah. Well, guys, arriba los corazones. Remember? <laughs> we'll, see you, we'll see you next time out in the open. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, producer. Miss Reverend, you said they call you the warrior? the warrior? They call me the warrior. That was my first internet name. Okay, warrior well, for we're going to leave this show with this. Warrior for All love. All right, let's see. Oh, he tried it. <laughs> oh, what's that? What's that? <laughs> that was Warriors come out and play. Oh.